Hello, welcome back in another uh, technical video for Double Push. Today uh, we focus on some little detail about how to do the Double Push better and especially with the idea of maintaining the speed. So when I do my Double Push, like we saw in the previous Double Push video, uh, there is different moments that can help you to maintain the speed. Uh, the double push is one of the techniques that help you to do this. We have the classic push and the double push moment, but it's not enough to maintain a flat average speed during uh, the whole movement. So, of course, we try to have a, a longer pushing time between the two uh, push, but beside this, it's also super important, and I consider still this as a help for the push, the body weight transferred. When you move your body weight, your upper body side to side, left, all right it's a moment that helps you to maintain some pressure on your skate and the pressure you create at this moment is still for me a feeling of the push so it can help you to make this pushing moment longer you have your classic push you make your double push and if you coordinate good in the timing the movement of your body weight it can help you for the push or it can help you to keep some pressure and provide more pushing time in the ground at this moment so this is helping you instead of just rolling it helps you to generate and to maintain the speed another moment that helps you to uh, maintain your speed is when you bring back your other leg so this is uh, not a, um, a moment where there's nothing happening it's a moment where you can always use the movement and the weight of this leg to generate some uh, movement to the front. Nolan Bediaf is, I think, is the expert in this at the moment. He is really good when he brings back his leg, he gives a little effect that is pushing forward on his body weight. So this is a very good help. Joey Monte is also doing this very good, but at the moment, the master of this movement to make a, a, a maintaining the speed and save energy is Nolan Bediaf. So three moments in your, in your double push technique, the classic push plus the double push, the body weight transferred, and the timing of the coming back leg to give you a little uh, front movement. For me, this is playing with these three elements is one of the best uh, things you can do to maintain the speed, which will, which will help you to uh, actually to save a lot of energy. What's killing you during the uh, technique movement is when your speed is going up and down and up and down. When you repeat this for a marathon, it actually uh, uh, costs much more energy than if you can have your speed as flat as possible. It will always be a little bit up and down, but if you can make the maintaining the speed as similar as possible for the whole movement, then it's a, it's a big change. It's a big save of energy during the whole marathon. So this is uh, one of the focus I have when I skate. And you can see in the details now in the video that it's really uh, super important. In the technique I use now, it's not as good as 20 years ago, of course. But if you look also at the top athlete now, they use much more the body weight to the outside compared to what I do at the moment. This is the topic I'm working uh, at the moment in my training. I really want to improve this body weight transfer on the outside of my edge. So um, it's something I, I work at the moment and I recommend you, you work this step. And when this step is fixed, you can start to think of how to recover and use this recovery leg to bring movement forward. Another little explain a little, little detail 
about the double push technique. Double push is much more complex, I think, than what we can think. It's not only about pushing one time and then pushing a second time to the inside. Now it's getting more and more complex. It's all about using the push, using your body weight, and using all the movements you generate during your scaling technique.